And to contextualize a little bit more about what Core Weave does before we get into some of the nitty gritty, I want to like kind of just define that Neo Cloud definition is traditional hyperscalers, right? Like you have your um, Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, all of those things. They provide compute services and virtual machines, but they also provide a suite of applications on top of that whether that be like data sets, storage, other applications. Whereas what the Neo Clouds are doing, and this goes back into the compute bottleneck, they're really just providing like bare bones GPU services, i.e. raw compute. So that's why you'll see um, a company like CoreWeave, right? Some people might scratch their heads and they think, okay, 72% of CoreWeave's revenue in Q1 came from Microsoft and OpenAI. You know, what, wouldn't these companies have somewhere else to go to for their compute? And the fact of the matter is they don't because there's a huge bottleneck for it right now. And so these Neo Clouds came out and they were really smart and they decided to be nimble and say, what if we stripped out the layer of complexity on top of this with all the additional applications and just provided an environment for training models, for drawing raw compute for these tech companies that need it currently? 